Hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration video of simulation of process equipment using Aspen HiSys. Friends, in this video I am going to simulate uh, the compressors in which the natural gas is flowing. Uh, let me introduce myself. I am Dr. Santosh Walke, currently working in Oman and I am practicing this Aspen HiSys from last 10 years. So friends, let us start uh, the simulation. Uh, you can see in this image uh, there is one compressor and uh, in this compressor we are going to compress the natural gas. This natural gas almost uh, consisting of uh, eight different components like methane, ethane, propane, n-butane, isobutane, n-pentane, isopentane and n-hexane. The inlet conditions are temperature is 150 degree centigrade, pressure 2 bar, molar flow is 150 kg mole per hour. In this we are going to compress up to pressure of 6 bar. You have to find out the outlet temperature and the duty of the compressor. So let us start our simulation. So I have directly started with the basis manager. Here we have to complete the two basic steps. First we have to define what are the component involved in our simulation. So click on this add tab. Now here we have to search the component involved. We have methane we have ethane, we have propane, we have isobutane, n-butane, isopentane, n-pentane and n-hexane. So you can see we have almost 8 components in our natural gas. Now the next step you have to select the fluid package, the proper fluid package. So in this case we are going to use the Peng Robinson fluid package. Click on the Peng Robinson, you can find out the color is become green. So our first two steps are completed. Now we will enter in the simulation environment. Now in the simulation environment this is object pellet. First we have to define the material stream. This is the blue arrow represent the material stream. So drag this blue arrow and press it over here and double click this the name of this stream we can give as a natural gas then we have to define the temperature temperature of the inlet stream is 150 degree centigrade the pressure we have almost it's a 2 atmosphere or you can say not a 2 atmosphere it's a 2 bar so 2 bar is the pressure, molar flow is you can say 150 kg mole per hour. So these three information we have entered but we have to enter about the composition. So there are almost 8 components in the natural gas. We have methane, methane is we have 0 0.31, then we have ethane 0 0.15 propane 0 0.08, isobutane 0 0.11, and butane 0 0.11, then we can say isopentane 0 0.07, and pentane 0 0.07, and the last component is n-hexane, it is 0 0.1, so click on the normalize and press OK. Now we can see the color is become green, so our our stream is complete. Next we have to see uh, select the compressor so from this object pellet we can select the compressor this is the compressor symbol we can drag it and place it over here. Now by default name is K100 this we can change. So we will change the name to compressor. Now the inlet stream we have already defined this is a natural gas in outlet stream we have to define you can type it as a comp out you can give any name like compressor out at the natural gas out this requires energy so we can type as q we'll give the name that a better way q compressor then we can go to the parameters here the by default adiabatic efficiency is a 20 75 percent will reduce it to 20 percent then we can go to the worksheet tab now here we are not defined the outlet pressure 
so we are compressing it from 2 bar to 6 bar so we'll select the unit as a bar now the color is become green so our simulation is complete now we will find out how much is the outlet temperature over here the outlet temperature increases up to 322.1 degree centigrade from 150 degree centigrade then we can see the duty required is 828.06 kilowatt the pressure of 400 kilopascal we can see from 2 bar to 6 bar the pressure ratio is almost 3 now you can see the performance it's a, these are the results we obtained and this is the compressor rotor power then also the dynamics part is also involved in in the next video i will com complete this dynamics part also because it is little bit completed uh, complicated and it requires some advanced knowledge now we'll go to our simulation environment now we'll first it will properly position all now it is looking better then we can add the workbook table like material stream table these are the results we can view in the tabular form then you can right click and click on the add of workbook table then select the composition then add workbook table select the energy stream so in this way our simulation is complete you can see in the material stream there is a no change in the vapor fracture it is almost one temperature is increasing pressure is increasing you can say the molar flow is same mass flow is same liquid volumetric flow rate is same and the heat flow is also same so in this demonstration shows that the performance of Aspen Hysis program on simulating a compressor using the required specification for a certain temperature of natural gas the result shows that when the temperature of the natural gas increases so the outlet temperature also increases and hence the effect to increase in the compressor duty when the temperature of the natural gas increases theoretically the compressor is used to transport the fluid through the pipe using the rising pressure of that fluid and reducing its volume on doing so the temperature of the gas also increases which depends on the percentage of the efficiency of the compressor duty at high efficiency the outlet temperature increment is lower as compared to the low efficiency system under the same mass flow rate which can say adiabatically in conclusion we can say before practicing the required computer compressor system the Aspen Hysis program was used to simulate and analyze the outlet stream conditions in this process compressor was simulated for the given temperature of natural gas so as to able to arrange the suitable system for the fluid transportation since compressor is used mostly in the transportation process in petroleum and refining and you can say in petrochemical industry compressor are used in various refining process as it increases the pressure of the gas which increases the rate of catalytic reaction the petrochemical production like ammonia and methanol synthesis which needs specific pressure and also for the transportation of gas through the pipeline and in the injection of the gases to promote the recovery of the crude oil so I hope you like this video and in the next video I will simulate the pump so see you soon till then goodbye and happy simulation